Morning everyone. So uh, this morning I want to talk about the government car, I suppose the plug-in car scheme where they provide you a sum of money, usually around three and a half thousand pounds, off a brand new electric or plug-in uh, car. And uh, that disappearing. So probably several years ago this was introduced to help funds people getting their new electric cars getting people into electric cars in general and plug-ins and it has been working very well sales of electric cars have spiked and, and, and gone up as the years gone on through adoption but also for this scheme it obviously helps um, that's a significant amount of money around three and a half thousand pounds to get you into a brand new electric or plug-in car um, which in some cases would have made the car more affordable or in in some cases you know change a, a certain tax bracket and recently in um, some of the news and social media the transport minister has said that it won't be around forever and in fact he's looking to remove it um, soon um, this this to me seems just a crazy idea and I'll, I'll tell you why but let's get one thing out of the way he's saying this after using it to get his brand new Tesla Model 3 so I'm alright Jack and now I'm gonna remove it for everyone else that's one problem and I'm, I'm not gonna dig into that because there's a whole rant video about that on its own um, but what does annoy me is that the short-sightedness of this so they announced their big government um, green policy electric car policy you know getting everyone out of their normal cars getting them into EVs uh, making sure that the environment's um, looked after green policies you know around London and around cities and things like that they put this massive paper out and saying how well they're gonna do this that, and the other and when it comes down to it, it's things like this that's going to help those sort of incentives and those uh, processes and things like that that they're going to put in. But instead of doing that, what they're going to do is take away the one thing that is actually helping more people or people that were maybe on the fence get into EVs and plugins, which can't be a bad thing at all. Now, it's I'm not silly enough to know that you know this obviously costs money and there's a fund there that needs uh, to be used for this but the trouble I've got is that the car industry is failing and failing fast you know diesel and petrol sales are down year on year diesel sales are through the floor and have been for the last year or so this isn't going to improve people are starting to see the general public are starting to see the benefits of electric cars greener cars whether it's hybrid whether it's a full electric whatever it may be um, to get them on the road sometimes it needs things like this and these incentives and to take that away seems stupid for the end user because the end user and the general public need those sort of incentives because you know you need that to continually push these innovations of electric cars to people saying that it's the right thing things that people that are uh, maybe still on the fence but the other side the industry benefits from this in that they're going to sell more electric cars and push electric cars more if they know that there's a, a government incentive and a backing from people for them to sell them um, they've still got thousands and thousands of diesel and petrol cars to sell in lots I'm sure everywhere you've only got to go past garages and see how many petrol and diesel cars are still there um, so having an incentive to go electric or at least plug-in just makes a logical sense and helps the industry so not only does that but it helps the economy so uh, it helps the economy if it helps the economy it helps jobs people in the car industry now don't get me wrong the car industry is changing and has to change logistics manufacturing everything is changing because of electric cars make no bones about it electric cars aren't going anywhere you know with the, they've been proven they work they're good for everyone no matter what type of mileage you do um, you just got to pick the right one but taking this car scheme away is ludicrous 
And if that goes away, I can see car sales drop for that average person, that average person that may not have thought about it, but with the right education and the right messaging from the government around, if you do this, not only is it the right thing, but there's an incentive to do it, we're giving you some money, we're gonna give you money for you know a wall charger and things like that. It just makes perfect sense for, for that to stay in place. It does cost money, but the actual benefit, long-term benefits for both the country, jobs, economy, environment, just makes more sense than this short-sightedness that everyone seems to have at the moment. Um, so I really hope they don't remove it. I think it's, it's too important to remove. There's no date on it when they're gonna remove it yet. Um, so if you are thinking about getting an electric car or you're on the fence, I suggest having a look now. There's quite a lot out now. But over the next year, I think we'll um, unfortunately may see some significant changes in, in that space from, from the government and um, unfortunately more failed promises from their uh, legislation that they, uh, they put out. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like, share, subscribe, all the normal stuff. Um, please let me know in the comments below your thoughts. That's always good. We can have a chat. Uh, I can bring it up on a future episode as well. Uh, and until next time, thanks very much. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.